Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Frank, for that awesome introduction. And I want to thank Bill Barlow, Clint Ward, and Carol Lowe as well for uh, coordinating things with me and the whole event. Let's give them one more hand. Take a I was talking to Bill a few years ago at one of the Hall of Fames, and I, I asked him, what does it take to get into the Hall of Fame? Uh, are there set specifications or qualifications? And he said, it's the Hall of Fame. You just have to be famous. Thanks for putting that up for me, Bill. Well, as I said, my U.S. Hall of Fame induction, th this part of the career is not, not part of the dream that we have. The dream is the one that's on the water when, when the ski lands, the arm goes up, the horn fades off, and that's sort of where, where you stop thinking about the future. So uh, to get inducted into the U.S. Hall of Fame and, and now the world is uh, happiness beyond belief to, to be recognized as one of the 35 or so skiers uh, in the history of water skiing by your peers and uh, countries around the world is, is awesome. So I want to thank the, all those who selected me from the bottom of my heart. I want to congratulate the other inductees tonight because uh, they all obviously deserve it, but they were, all were special and all affected me. I didn't have the opportunity to compete when, when Kay Thurlow was skiing. But I want to congratulate her, and I, and I wish I was, so I could have appreciated her abilities. I want to say congratulations to Susie Graham McCormick. I knew her as Susie Graham when we all started. And when I think about Susie, I think about grit, determination, and the will to win. And I mean this is a compliment to Susie. She wasn't always the smoothest or prettiest, but she always made sure she doesn't have the most movies, so congratulations, Susan. Boo Boo, I had the opportunity to compete with because he was one of my contemporaries. And about 85, 86, I started hearing some of these really high scores and tricks on the IOC list. We were getting over 9,000 point you know, scores, mid 9,000 point. And back then, it was close to the world record. And uh, us over here in the United States didn't believe it until, until Boo Boo started competing uh, later in the 80s against us. But he, he was a great overall skier, but a very natural trick skier. And uh, the thing about Boo Boo is he, he didn't seem to have to work as hard as everybody else to, to be at that level. And obviously his artistry as a jumper, is, uh, he's got to go down as one of the best of all time. So congratulations Boo Boo. The Larson twins, and as we all know, sometimes get lumped together as, as one group, and unfortunately they have to come up here together again, but Tom Hahn and uh, Rick Kovac were uh, very special as individuals, and either, either one of them could have been, could have held up their position on the U.S. team all by themselves. So I first saw the twins in Tyler, Texas in 80, I think they were around 10 years old, and there was already uh, unbelievable ability there. And then about 24 years ago, in 85, both of them ran in a record tournament over 8,400 points, which was close to the main at that time. So they had different personalities, different preparation, and they had a lot of similarities, as we all know, but their styles were a little bit different. And I had the fortune to ski with both of them on the U.S. team. And uh, one thing that was the same about them is they were world-class performers, consistent and uh, always dependable, either one of them. And, uh, but i got to admit, at the big tournaments, I would always hope that Britt would do just a little bit better because when Tom would win, Corey would win every time. But every time Britt would, would get into the winning slot, I seemed to come through. So thanks, Britt. Appreciate that. I want to recognize my early inspirations quickly. Uh, back in the mid-70s, Ricky McCormick was the first one uh, with his tricking ability. And the great Carlos Suarez, who many of you had known, he disappeared after 79, but he was probably the best natural trick skier ever. Obviously, Patrice Martin and Corey Pickus in the late 70s. 
or downloading the internet. I also want to recognize my contemporaries, my competitors, because as you know, without the competitors, you don't get any better. They're the ones that make you great. And those included, obviously, Corey Pickus, who was always a close training coach and had a lot of different roles. I know Patrice is here tonight, and I want to thank you, Patrice, for your inspiration and raising the bar always. Both of the well ones, Craig and Jarrett, uh, awesome talents that are always hard to beat. Uh, even though they're overall skiers, you always knew that they could put it really high, and, and they did, they won their share. Uh, I'd like to thank Emmett Bennett and Russell Gay, who are also my contemporaries. My coaches, uh, Chuck and Frankie Dees, early in my career, and of course, Corey, uh, the Corey Pickett's family, in, in my mid-career, before he told me to go jump in the lake and find somebody else. <laughs> but we've renewed our friendship and had great competition over the years, as everybody knows. And uh, for team, team managers and coaches, I want to thank Frank Harrison, who was there a lot later in my career, and also Jack Travers, who when my father wasn't able to be there, Jack always stepped in and helped me. So thanks. And uh, of course the Jim grew with his spectacular negotiations in Columbia in 86 that kept me out of the clink. And uh, I didn't want me to continue with my international scheme. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> many of you know my father, Tony, who uh, wore many hats. You might know him as a lot of different things, one of which is official joke teller, to which he still has no known rivals. But you probably know him as U.S. team manager, chief judge, or president of AWSA. Among being a father of five children and raising a family and being a president of a computer company. So I want to dedicate my induction to my colleague. He was always there. This is for you, Bob. I want to wish all the competitors a great worlds and uh, one of the best world tournaments I'm sure we're yet to see. And, uh, in conclusion, I'd like to say, go USA!